Plasmark, Technical University of Denmark and Copenhagen Business School. Plasmark has developed the next generation of plasma surface treatment systems. Plasma treatment is key in many applications, such as enabling printing on plastic to increase efficiency in solar panels and to, for example, clean surfaces in the medical industry. Plasmark will target the suppliers of plasma treatment equipment for the packing industry since the need for the product is high and the entry barrier is low. The new technology enables faster and cheaper production while saving energy and giving more design freedom. If the team wins, they will use the money to further develop and test their current prototype and furthermore, proof of concept in new markets. Ragnar Extruder University of Southern Denmark and Aarhus University. Ragnar Extruder is a machine that produces 3D printing material called filament. This enables customers to produce their own filament cheaper and with more colour and material variety. Today the material diversity is low and the cost is high, which is a major limiting factor in the development and spreading of 3D printing. The team focuses on universities, as they print in large volumes, making cost an issue, and at the same time, they are interested in experimenting with different material types. If the team wins, they will be able to accelerate their implementation plan. Ultrazone Technical University of Denmark Ultrazone uses ultrasonic irradiation to improve the production of ozone. Today, there is a higher demand for ozone in various applications and energy costs continue to rise. Ultrazone offers a patented new technology that significantly increases ozone production efficiency and consumes less energy. Ultrazone's primary customer will be the ozone generator manufacturers. Ozone is used for the purification of air and water and to keep food fresh for extended periods of time. It is also increasingly being used in the medical industry and aquacultures. Venture capital would enable Ultrazone to initiate Phase 1, which involves implementation and testing of this technology onto existing ozone generators. <laughs>